Much needed Galio buffs, some less wanted love for Talon, and most importantly, is Riot finally deleting Yumi? Hey there summoners, Riot has released the full list of changes that we'll be getting on patch 13.6. It can be really easy to get baited into thinking that a buff really means something is automatically good, and a nerf means something is instantly bad, but that's definitely not always the case. And that's why I'm here to break things down a bit. We'll get started with the system changes first, since these changes are a bit broad and potentially affect the meta a lot more than any champ specific changes. We're once again seeing some changes directed at the jungle, with just a slight nerf this time. The buffs dragons give are being reduced by 9 to 10%. Any nerf is a nerf, but this doesn't really seem that crazy, honestly. And early ocean is still gonna be a really nice treat for laners. Nashor's Tooth is getting a bit more attention. With 15 ability haste with the cost of being 200 gold more expensive, the item is definitely a lot better. That being said, I don't think it's suddenly going to be built on a ton of champions. The same users, like Diana, Azir, Kale, and the occasional PTA elites are going to be using it, while most other AP champions will stick to their broken mage items. The rest of the changes are mostly here due to how OP bot lane is. The thing is, most of the changes are pretty mild. BT's shield is insanely overtuned, and will still be strong even after this nerf. Navora is going to be built on champions that use it well, it'll just be a little bit less problematic. And the lethal temple changes make the early all lins a little bit less doable, but it's still the best keystone for DPS. The bloodline change is actually kind of significant. It's too early to say with 100% certainty, but I could definitely see the meta shift to ADC's running alacrity and going bloodthirster first for a strong laning phase. Alright, with all that stuff out the way, let's look at the direct champion changes. You may think that the vein changes are kind of mediocre, since she's losing a lot of tank killing power, and this is a very tank heavy meta, but here's the thing. Even with her getting 2% lopped off her true damage, she's still going to be shredding tanks at the late game. But Vayne's biggest issue right now is dealing with the other ADCs in the bot lane. This bonus damage on Q will make it a lot easier to look for trades, and will allow you to push leads when laning with an aggressive support. These Galio buffs may be aimed at making him a better, more all-round mid laner, but I think he's still going to be able to fill the same niche. Basically, if he was really good before, he'll just do better. And if it was previously a bad matchup, you shouldn't pick him. However, what I don't think Riot is taking into account is how big a buff this could be for Galio as a support. With all in bot lanes being super strong right now, Galio has already a few good matchups in the meta. He's definitely something that you'll want in your pool now. The talent changes don't really mean a lot, but that's something I personally am pretty happy about. No one likes seeing their mid laner insta dead at level 2, and knowing the game is about to be extremely hard. After her little adjustment last patch, Ash isn't doing any better as an ADC. She's just sort of worse all around. This buff is a decent one, but it isn't really going to change her overall spot in the meta. She needs a bit more than a slight tune-up for her damage. Yumi's rework on the other hand has left her absolutely busted. Riot was quick to put out a hotfix, but she's still been super strong. And that's exactly why Riot is finally deleting her. I wish. Sadly, they're just still continuing with trying to balance her out into a healthy state. Spoiler alert, even with the second round of changes, we're pretty sure that she's going to be really good, and really annoying to play against. She may not be quite as capable of hiding mistakes since her ultimate is losing those resists, but she still provides insane utility and supportive power while foes have no real counterplay. Riot has to just get it through their heads that untargetability isn't viable in League of Legends. That Aurelian soul change made it so that you can't really come online as quickly and freely when behind, but trust me, he's still going to be an insanely strong scaling pick probably the strongest hyper carry mid laner option right now. And lastly, we have some nerfs coming for Vagar. As anyone probably could have guessed, the changes aimed at buffing Vagar at the mid lane has just made him super strong as a bot laner. It's almost like the exact same thing happened last season or something. Anyway, he's still going to be a really strong AP option for bot laners, but losing that health and HP definitely makes him more susceptible to all ins. So, when you're against him, you can look to punish his weak early game. That wraps up our 13.6 patch preview. As always, thanks for joining me for today's video. I can't wait to see you guys back in our next video, but until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.